Nothing shines like polished silver, but keeping the tarnish at bay is never-ending work. And polishing isn't just a pain. It also rubs away some of the precious metal, whether it's your grandmother's silver bowl or an 18th century museum treasure. So we're always looking for some kind of barrier that will protect the surface so that you don't have to keep polishing. At the Walters Art Museum in Baltimore, the barrier of choice is lacquer brushed on by hand. Often it affects the color. The art conservators have an expert eye, and they say, oh, it has a bluish cast. With support from the National Science Foundation, material scientist Ray Faniff and his team are working with the museum, producing a protective coating so thin you can't see it with the naked eye. Using a special reactor inside a clean room, they produce nanometer thick films of aluminum oxide. The films conform to the recesses and protrusions of the silver, creating a protective barrier. The method that we use to, uh, to apply it is called atomic layer deposition. So literally, we're able to control the thickness of the film at, uh, at a sub-nanometer uh, level. An atom is one one-hundred thousandth of the thickness of a human hair. Conservators say atomic layer deposition, or ALD, will have to pass rigorous testing before they use it to protect these irreplaceable treasures. That's the actual active element of any spectrometer. In the lab, they measure how light reflects off the surface of a test wafer and how the ALD coating affects its color. Another test measures how quickly sulfur penetrates the coated wafer. Sulfur is what tarnishes silver. This helps scientists figure out how long a barrier will last. If we can increase the, uh, the lifetime of these films to uh, a century, you may not need to do this very often. Conservators won't give ALD a thumbs up until they can show it works better than the lacquers they are using now, which have to be reapplied every decade or two. And also we're concerned about how it is removed. Right now with a lacquer you can remove it with solvents. If ALD proves a shining success, Works like these will remain at their best for future generations to enjoy. For Science Nation, I'm Miles O'Brien.